Yeah. All good? Yes. Okay, thank you. So we did a whole two weeks on prayer. And during the time of that prayer, I asked everybody to talk to God. Now, some of you sent me in your essays and your assignments. You said that I already pray, that this is already a pattern for me, that it's a habit, that I do already pray. Some of you said it was a new experience. When you talk about a religion, Religions have many different explanations about prayer. And again, the purpose of this class is to help you to understand when you're explaining a religion, when you're understanding a religion, and also when you're speaking to a religious person. You might see a Hindu priest, and he might be having a long beard, and he might have chains around him. You might see a, a Muslim sheikh who might have a different headdress. How do you understand the difference of who is who? Who is a Hindu? Who is a Muslim? All of these things is what we're trying to understand, the differences of the religions. And one of the differences in all the religions is prayer. And today what I'm trying to do in 10 minutes, I would like us to try and understand the different types of prayer. Because not everybody talks to God. When I shared it with you, I said, when you pray, just talk, just talk to God. But not all religions teach you to talk to God. Please turn that off. The first thing that we're gonna talk about today is called Meditation. Please say it. Meditation. Say it out loud. Meditation. One more time. Meditation. Now in meditation, there are no words that you are speaking. Is everybody listening? Yeah. In meditation, there is no words. In meditation, it is a practice, listen carefully, meditation is a practice where an individual uses a technique like mindfulness or focusing the mind on a particular object, thought or activity to train attention and awareness and achieve mentally clear and emotionally calm and a stable state. So sometimes you're stressed with what you're doing and somebody will say, hey, have you tried meditation? But meditation is not prayer. People think meditation is prayer. Prayer and meditation is different. With meditation, what you're doing is you're doing a focus. Maybe on saying a word, maybe on quietness. But meditation is a state of mind when you can calm your mind from the stress of the world. So sometimes you feel so confused with everything that's happening in your mind and meditation can be one way that you can calm yourself and relax. Meditation, remember this. But is meditation prayer? No. Is meditation prayer? No. What's the difference? Yeah, you talk. In prayer, you talk to God. But in meditation, it has nothing to do with God. It has everything about you and your inner self and calming yourself. Quiet, please. Now the next thing is called chanting. Chanting. Or incantation. Are you listening? Now chanting is usually confused with prayer. Because in chanting, there is an incantation, a spell, a charm, maybe a formula intended to trigger an effect on a person or object. That formula can be spoken, it can be sung, it can be chanted, it can also be performed during ceremonial rituals 
And in the world of magic and wizards and witches and fairies, people allegedly perform chantings. So let me give you an example of a chanting. I met somebody from this class who told me I pray, but he had some beads. You know what beads are? Beads? He holds it like this and he prays. So he said, I have beads. And I said, oh, okay, wh what is that? And he said, when I pray, I just keep rotating the beads and I say words. And I said, okay, what are the words that you say? And he said something in, so in a language, another language. I say these words and he kept using that. And then I understood, oh, this is not a prayer. This is a chant. So you try to build yourself into a mindset by saying some words and by focusing on an object. Usually it's like, a, like, a be like beads or it may be a cross or it may be a chain or an amulet, but it is not prayer. Chanting is when you say many words and you think that you are reaching God. People think that by chanting they reach God. Yes. Yes. When, when you use an object for what you think is prayer, it's a chant. When you use, listen carefully, I'm, I'm, I'm helping, uh, he's given a great example. He said in, in Roman Catholicism, we use a rosary to pray. And that's the difference. In a prayer, it is you and God with words. But when you use a chant, you're using an object rather than words. And you're using words as a repetition. It's repeated. Sometimes, now people think that maybe the evangelical churches, the gospel people, they think maybe they don't say chants, but they do too. I, I've seen many people, they'll stand like this and they'll be, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? And he'll just go, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It is a chant. That's a chant. Because you're not speaking to God. That's not a prayer. That is a chant. So we're trying to explore and understand all these different <coughs> types of prayer. What was the first one we said? Meditation. Allow, please. Meditation. 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 Second one. Meditation. Now the third one. Is called contemplation. Say it. Contemplation. contemplation. Now in contemplation, what the person tries to do is that the person reaches out to himself or herself and tries to fix themselves before they pray to God. That's contemplation. Let me give you an example. Tell me your name again. So let's say Pedro Tell me, tell me who's your friend here. Another Pedro? Yeah. All right. Let's say the both of you have an argument. Really bad argument. But it's so bad that you say like swear words and like you want to beat each other and so angry and it's a bad fight. Okay? When both of you are separate and you're going to pray. Okay? Before you pray, you'll think in your heart. Oh, I just fought with Pedro. Maybe I need to first forgive him. And I first go to Pedro and I say, Hey man, I'm sorry about that. Have a problem. All right, let's not fight. Once I fix that, then I can pray. Why did you do that? Because when you went to pray, you first had contemplation. So, meditation, chanting, contemplation prayer. These four points are the ones These four points are the ones that will help you to understand the different types of prayer. All of these are connected. 
First, they're all connected, but at the same time, they're different. They're distinct. Okay, so let's revise it again. What's the first one? Meditation. 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 Second? Chanting. 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 Third? Contemplation. And fourth? Prayer. What is prayer? Talking to God. Say it out loud. Talking to God. What is meditation? <coughs> Calming yourself. Calm and focus. What is chanting? Using an object or using repeating words to try and focus, to try and pray. That is chanting. And what is contemplation? What is contemplation? That's the last one. When you fix yourself with another person or another issue or anything else, you try to fix yourself before you actually pray. All right. So for us, this is our next topic. I will send you the notes about this and the last one. You want to say something? I want to ask. Yes. Let us speak in tongues. Um, good question. So speaking in tongues is a whole different subject. But the short answer is speaking in tongues is part of prayer. But I like to call it a high tech prayer. It's like an advanced prayer. Because when you speak in tongues, it's not just you. You have to believe it's the Holy Spirit inside you who is speaking through you. So it's like somebody inside is helping you to speak the words that you don't understand, but He helps you to understand and speak to God. So speaking in tongues is for me is like a high-tech prayer. But the reason why I'm not talking about that now is we're still at a very basic level. Yeah? All right, one last time. Let's run it through so everybody remembers. What's the first one? Meditation. 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 Second? Chanting. Chanting. Third? Contemplation. Fourth? Prayer. Are all the same? No. no. Are they different? Yes. yes. Are they connected? Yes. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Mackenzie.